Okay, the update just completed. I am on the full self-driving beta now. I have to go to my email, agree to all of these. I don't know why I was doing that. In 500 feet, take the Interstate 680 North ramp on the right okay. towards 500 feet, turn left onto a Royal Way. Now turn left onto a Royal Way. So at this point in the video, it stops at the corner. There's no lights, nothing. So it has to go by itself. It's a very confusing area. There is construction on the left. It pauses the autopilot. Then it creeps forward for to like to see, have a better visual. Then I just take over because I know it's really difficult. so far in the video the last part and this part is doing pretty good over here it comes a little bit forward to get a better vi visualization then takes a turn that's pretty fine goes forward these parts in a normal street with not that many cars perfect lines on the ground traffic lights things like that it does pretty good usually if some something like unexpected happened that's when the ai doesn't really know what to do like later in the video you will see it run at a red light um, try to merge out of a lane because a fire truck is upcoming like turning into the lane is trying to avoid it but it's not even going to head it if it was even farther down it just miscalculates a little bit of things and um, it was going to take a u-turn but it didn't it went in a different street turned into a wrong street those are all farther in the video. I could put a timestamp and mark all of them. So this is the part I'm coming out of the road, going in, engaging autopilot. Farther down this road is when it turns in front of the fire truck and tries to avoid it. But it's like very exaggerated the way it does it. Didn't need to like turn that aggressive into the other lane because it wasn't going to get headed. It was going like five miles.
the speed of it while going on the speed limit. Maybe I should put it like 10 miles under the speed limit or something. It's still not good. Or maybe I should change the settings of the self-driving. Like what? Just like speeding up to 37 just to hit the front of its tank. So the last part of the video, it was on um, self-driving with the performance mode on the Model 3 performance and um, for lane changing and the autopilot itself, it was on the more aggressive style. I just put them both on chill mode, so the acceleration is chill and the autopilot. So it's not gonna do any crazy stuff while it's on self-driving. Um, the problem in the last video was there was a fire truck in front of us turning into our lane. It, as you guys saw, it was just going crazy. Um, and merging into the freeway was going 65 merging and that in front of me there was cars. So let's see how this goes on the freeway. Like right now it's going 63 into merging out. I hope it like kind of slows down because there's three cars in front of us. Now take exit 52 on the right. Okay, I'm gonna like have my hand here because it's not slowing down. I lowered the... Okay, it just kind of didn't. I'm gonna reactivate it here. In 500 not, feet, turn left onto Diamond Boulevard. It's telling me to pay attention to the steering wheel. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. Now turn left onto Diamond Boulevard. I'm gonna do it myself here because I think he sees the phone uh, on the interior camera and he thinks um, that I'm, I'm on the phone. In 500 feet. Turn so, left can you please put the phone in front of you so it doesn't think it's me? Take the phone like out of the... And it kind of stopped in the uh, keep clear section. It's kind of weird. I think the interior camera sees the phone and it thinks I'm on the phone and that's why it doesn't let the autopilot do anything. It just keeps telling me to like apply turning to the wheel and I keep doing it, but it didn't work, so. Okay, now it's fine. Now turn left onto Concord Avenue. Just takes the turns a little crazy. It's not smooth at all. It's even not supposed to be in this lane because this one kind of exits go to the freeway. And this speed limit is 40, it's going 50. Maybe I have to uh, change some stuff in the self-driving, but as you guys see, that's the screen. Now Let me see what it does here. It's not supposed to turn at 60 miles per hour, so. Okay, it's weird. Just comes out the turn. 
changes the turn signal, speeds up to 45 again. So it's really close to the curb and the other car. Now turn left. I mean, it did it pretty good here. Let's see how it goes into the Target's parking lot. I'm gonna lower the speed limit to 30 so it doesn't like, or 25 so it doesn't speed up into the parking lot. I have to change all of those things. And there is a report button up here. So if I see it do anything crazy, I could report it. So like Tesla could fix it. Like I, when I get home, I could um, report the section of the fire truck in front of me that it was like confusing lanes and everything. I could also um, email them the video that I was taking. Light is green and it just goes. It's pretty smooth. Okay. That was pretty good and the self-driving just ended because like I'm here. Now your destination is on the left. Let's see how this goes. Now make a U-turn at Camelback Road. It goes really close to the curb. Uh, what the hell? It goes really far out and uh, what? It was supposed to do a U-turn. I don't know why it did that. Oh. I'm gonna close the video with this. This is just a replay of a dash cam of the U-turn it missed. So it's still a beta. It doesn't really know exactly how to take some turns. Like on the blue line you guys see on the screen, it like turns and glitches between like going straight, turning a turn, doing things like that. So it just it does the best thing it thinks. It's still a beta, so that's why I don't have a problem with it. I'm just testing the car and I agreed to doing that on Tesla.